All right, let's take a look at how to work with 360 video inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna install Reactor into the Fusion page. And Reactor is basically a script that allows you to access a bunch of different scripts created by really talented people that make DaVinci a ton better. So no, this isn't some like dark web thing. This is actually really helpful and yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend installing it. It's super easy. So if we look right here, download the Reactor installer script, you're gonna click that and it's gonna download a simple file. We're gonna hop over into Fusion and all you're gonna do is drag and drop and then we get this little pop-up and we're gonna install and launch. Okay, so once you're done installing, it should just pop up on its own, but if it doesn't, you can just come up to Workspace, go down to Scripts, and then Reactor and open Reactor. Okay, so now that we're in, we're just gonna search for 360 and we're gonna look for Carta VR Tools Reframe 360. So we are going to install that. And there's a bunch of other scripts that you can install as well, but for right now, I'm just going to install this. And just a quick note, after you've installed some scripts, it may ask you to restart Fusion. So now may be a good time to restart DaVinci. Okay, so now that we've restarted DaVinci, I've brought in my 360 footage. You can see it here, and I'm just going to make a new timeline straight from this clip. And you can see it's already looking wonky. But if you dive into your effects tab now, and you go to your toolbox, effects, drop that down, you should have Carta VR Reframe 360. So you can click and drag on that clip and it's as simple as that. So now we dive into our effects tab and you can see that we have some controls here. So this will give you controls to move around your clip and set some keyframes. But before we get into that, let's just address this issue that sometimes will occur. Uh, and this is basically like a sequence mismatch. Uh, so if you dive back into my timeline settings, it's scale entire image to fit. So that's actually what is causing this. So if I'm just select this clip here, go to my video tab in the inspector, scroll all the way down to the bottom to scaling, and I hit stretch, that immediately dis disappears. That's how you fix that. And now let's reset here and uh, let's stretch back this field of view. This is actually where we want to set our clip here. So we are supposed to be the POV of the food. Let's even stretch this out even more. Great, that's a pretty decent starting point. So the rectilinear is basically uh, fixing those fisheye edges. So stretching it out just to like a flat natural uh, view look. Uh, so I would say somewhere around there is a good starting point. And then you can essentially just keyframe all the properties and start from there. So let's do that and make a little edit from this. So as I'm going in and adding keyframes here, there is an issue when using fusion effects, you can't actually see them, the keyframes in the edit tab. You actually have to hop over into fusion uh, and then open your keyframe here. Okay, so let's dive into the Fusion tab now to do some keyframing. And to do that, just hit this button here and it'll send you right over. Select the card of VR and then pop open your keyframe tab here. And now you can see the two keyframes I've made so far. There's this and this. And let's continue from here. Okay, so I have my two keyframes set, and if I wanna smooth them out or make any easing adjustments, you can open the spline editor. And then if you don't see uh, something like this, so I wanna edit the pitch, and then you can just hit this button here to make it kind of full screen. So for this, let's uh, select these points and then just hit smooth. And it'll just kind of make those easing adjustments for us. And I'm actually gonna do that for every single one. Hit this, select all of them, with this button down here, select all, right click and hit smooth. And you can see it did that to everything. So now we have some smooth keyframe adjustments that'll ease in from point A to point B. It actually is really simple. You do need to switch tabs, so that is a downside, but at least we can do it. <laughs> so now that I have my keyframe set within this, 360 clip and everything's facing the way I want it. Now I can just treat it as a regular clip, bring in some music and edit it the way I want. So let's do that now. 
Okay, so I reframed and retimed, added some effects, just like the adjustment layer with the zoom blur, and then I made it a seamless loop uh, with the help of a transition and then reframing it as well. And that's pretty much the basics of working with 360 video in DaVinci Resolve. Um, now I'm just gonna color it, uh, add some sound effects, add some music, and finish it up that way. But yeah, that's it. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.